Thank you. No, I think in Serbia every club has their own style. I think TN and me are also totally different, but I think the thing we both like the most are the head kick, stomach, dead body. So that was my favorite back and front. Nisha, same but front from the small distance. So maybe that. In a bit style. Definitely brought a style to the face of the fans. However, Spanish class and skill. Along with the will, and he's going to need it against Uzbekistan's Niaz Pulatov. As he comes in here along with his coach, a little wave. Good moments for all of them. We know the coach, I think he recently retired. But for Uzbekistan, one of the best athletes. Yep, recently retired, of course. And on the way into this one. So big moments for both coach and fighter. And there's the route through. Oh, I think the hardest part for today was for the final with Lovre Brevchin. I love his style, Spain, really. John Lovre is one of the best Jokera fighters in Croatia, European champion. Many time on podium, so that's got to be hard. It certainly Cara. will. The open stance, both men, little block there. Gorkera, nice fake, trying to intimidate, draw a response, punch in the way through, that looked decent. Yeah, that was a tough punch, but as we mentioned before, referees need one, two, or two or three punches just to, you know, warm up and see if they're good enough. Most certainly, we want to see those fingers, we want to see those punches added. He's a flick to the face, not far off, back leg, baffling in, good back leg turning kick, that one. Managing to register there. Only one. Both fighters started strong with the punches and a lot of kicks. I think I see a lot of rarity in in both of them. So that this is totally different style and totally different fans than the first semi-final. As you see that for eight in the back leg, boot to the body. Old school, nice to yeah, see it. Old school. I see even face it and we, we made the same face like, oh, this was nice. Behind the block and so strong and so fast. Credit the PSS scoring good, glad to see. That's how it should be. Pull it off. Does well, steps in with a double kick of his own, landing the second. 
sometimes to watch. This is real 63. I just want to say the last round we missed, you know, they both fast fighters and everything, but we like and we need to see these categories double, triple, spinning kicks. Usually 58, 63, 68 was all about this. You're absolutely right. Doubles with the skills, but it's double the scores on the board. Gorkera, two up. Milotov, backline turning kick, it worked once, it doesn't the second time, a swing and a miss, down the stretch we go, the top kick not far away. When he's doing the second kick, he, he does it so fast, after the chop to the face, he try with the back leg turning kick to body and score. He certainly did score, but this will also be a gam jump for stepping out, if you step out of that little yellow octagon around the corner, that's why it's a one point game. Into the last 10 seconds or so. Gorkera with the marginal lead, good little flick up to the face, the crowd liked it. Likewise the judges, four points of a difference into the last four seconds. Pull it off, can he pull it off? He cannot, goes with a double. It'll be an extra gamge on, but also one on the board. And as you said there, Melissa, really nice to see not only the PSS scoring it, but the skills beginning to come out. Yes, I know now Joan is Better, more aggressive, more skilled fighter, but I would like to see three rounds of fights like this because we didn't see for a long time, you know, just doubles, triples, back legs, not so many push kicks, not so many clashes. This is what 58, 63, 68 is all about. No question about it, and you get the feeling that Leanne Yujui, he's also more than capable of doing this side of it as well if he has to. If he has to, that's the most important thing. He doesn't want to risk it. He's strong with the push kick, with the front leg to the body, so fast, but if we need to go to what's more attractive and what we want to see is this one. That's absolutely right. That head kick, whistling past and landing a crack of the air. Yeah, he is really fast and sharp and he's not even tired. Certainly not tired. Swan Jin Yi brings him in. from the USA. Standing off in the open stance, who can close in on victory here? If you look up at the left of the screen there, Gorkera has one on the board, almost gets a head kick on the board as well, pull it off. That is the punch, that has to score, it does. So timing and distance for both fighters. Both searching for the options in the action. Back leg, swing and a miss there from Gorkera. Punch again, not too much power this time. Good movement from Gorkera. This was a nice punch also. But we heard it. He's trying one more time with the back leg to the body. For now, nothing but. I think now he has He's trying harder than the first round. He lost the first round, now he needs something else. He certainly does. Can he find it? Pull it off. Goes with the reverse turning kick. Is there a flick? A couple of lights. The push kick coming up retrospectively there. So three went on the board. There was a spin. Yeah, but this is the first time the one who asked for video replay <laughs> used this opportunity to score because Juan was aiming. He wanted to attack. Nias answered with the push kick and scored for 3-0. So if they lose their card, it's okay. He's still leading. No, I, I think you're showing me, yeah, but with the, with the calves. I think he hit them with the calves. So he cannot score. So it has to be the ankle and under yes. to hit the chin and up. And the referee sees it and agrees with you there. Melissa, the crowd loved it. Good to see those five-point spinning techniques. But of course, the calf. No good, but still pretty good for Pulatov. Capitalising on that lack of concentration, the slip will help. is trying but it's hard now when it's 5 0 40 seconds he has a lot of time he's able to score we saw it in the first round but still it's not easy 
easy indeed, but if it was easy, then everyone would be world champions. And you know yourself how complicated it is as Corquera tries his best, looks down to the ground, tries to flick one out to the body, pull it off, sees it, good evasion, kills the distance for the punch as well. As we go the distance now, last 20. Maybe it's better just to wait, to take a breath, and just wait for the third round. Tries with an almost reverse turning kick. Taking your advice. We're into a decider, and it's befitting a good response from Nias Pulatov, pulling himself back into contention. We saw just two totally different rounds. In the first round, Joan had a lot of kicks, a lot of good ones, really, with the double, with the back leg to the body, and the second round, he didn't score at all. Contrasting rounds, contrasting fortunes, all tied up. From the power punch to the doubles, who will be on the double to make it into the final? Liang Yushui awaits. But who's it going to be? differences can make the big difference as we go towards the big title, the under 63 kilogram world championship final at stake, who can make it through? Zayed al Halwani from Jordan with a bronze already, who will be standing next to him on the podium, who will be going against Liang Yaoshui, you get to find out, best seats in the house. Markerak, good control of the ring there. I think Mia will try probably again with the punch just to start off the third round. This was a nice, nice push to the body. Punch up to that. Two two in the first twenty seconds. As you say, two two in the first twenty. Also, you see the shoulders down now from Pulatov, beginning to just throw caution to the wind. You need to go and win it now. It's all yeah. to play for. <laughs> All to play for in the third round. Strong push kick, aiming for the head. I love the kick on the side. It was accurate, it was strong, and it scored for 6 2. Four point game, a minute and 10. Pulatov pulling himself into contention. Gorkera, nice little fake there. Can he? Tries for one on the inside. Walks into a space there. Pulatov picking it off. Last minute we go. Ah! Is ready. You can see his punches, his kicks are really strong. Now, I think now we need more of the Juan in the first round. This is a nice attempt of four. He needs seven points just to be at the same level as he is. That seems now almost impossible. Is it mission impossible? Certainly not impossible for Pulatov. He picks off another one. Back leg turn kick scoring nicely on the Dado PSS. Good to see. Nicely and strong. We can hear every kick. The pop on the kick for Pulatov. As he pops another one on the board. Seven becomes nine of a difference. Juan Gorquera. Can he find an answer? Doesn't look like it. Clock ticking. He has to try now, he's been thinking, but he has his experience enough just to push and to go back, to, to have his movement in the last 10 seconds. He's got the movement, he's got the big lead, and you can see the conditioning as well, not feeling tired at all, not into the last couple of seconds, and also into the final. Mutual respect there, Juan Gorquera Kala with a bronze for Spain into the final, throws the head down the air, in the throes of that victory, will he be the head man? And if anyone is going to cause China's job a little bit of difficulty, it could well be Pulatov. I agree. Honestly, in the first round, I thought maybe John will finish this.